are you uploading videos on YouTube and it seems that your channel nor your videos are getting any love from the YouTube algorithm? As a new content creator, this reality is super discouraging and it kind of makes you want to stop uploading videos. So today I am making this video to help you guys grow your YouTube channel fast and I want to go ahead and reveal my secrets to YouTube growth. But hold on, hold on, before we start I want to make a small bet with you. If you are watching this video right now I need everyone to smash the like button on this video. Now if you can go through this whole video and you just happen to know all the secrets and tips I'm going to be telling you in this video then by the end of the video you can take your like back. Yeah, it's a small bet, but let's see if this can, uh, let's see if I can win this one. So now that we have all of that out the way, let's go ahead and look at these YouTube growth secrets. For everyone out there that's starting from zero, that's especially trying to get monetized, so you kind of need that 1,000 subscribers, this is what you need to do. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about is creating a content strategy and also a schedule. Now, to be as transparent as possible, this is pretty much a sophisticated way to say, be consistent. Now, I know you've heard be consistent from tons of gurus out there and they're actually telling the truth. Consistency on YouTube is one, very hard to do because life is life and everybody differently. But the one thing I can tell you is that every channel that lacks consistency when it comes to uploading has either failed or is on their way to failing right now. Okay, so you want to become very consistent and uh, drop videos. You need videos to grow on YouTube. The best advice that I can give to anyone out there is to make a content schedule that actually goes along with your everyday life. When it really comes down to consistency, consistency could be anything. It could mean pretty much anything. You can consistently drop a video every single day, which is very hard. To be a daily uploader is very difficult, but it could be done but you can also consistently drop one video a week. And that is what I recommend you guys to do is try to aim for at least one video a week. If not, maybe just two a month. If you really want to test out a very simple strategy, then I would say try to upload maybe two to three videos a month and then also sprinkle in a few shorts in that month as well. So maybe two videos and three shorts for a whole month and that's how you can really get started. Now, if you can take more on, then I suggest you post more. But if you can't, then that should be your base minimum. Now, I say this because with a more relaxed content schedule, it will delay, and I mean really delay, the feeling of being burnt out when eventually it comes. Burnout is a real thing. If you're a content creator, let me know down below if you've ever been burnt out before. Maybe even if you're not a content creator, maybe you're just burnt out over work or anything else that you're doing in life. Maybe you just don't feel like doing it at some times during the day. So y'all let me know if y'all have felt burnout before down below in the comments. Now, another factor that can assist you in having some explosive growth on YouTube is of course you have to do your research. Outside looking in, it looks like YouTube is all butterflies and flowers and maybe a couple unicorns, huh? but it's never really that easy. There is tons of things that you will never see as a viewer that a content creator has to go through in order to make sure that that piece of content actually goes through the YouTube algorithm. So keyword research is a super important step that you must be taking even before you start creating your piece of content. Now, I do feel that a lot of us tend to forget that YouTube is actually a search engine. And a lot of people that are just getting started are trying to treat YouTube as like an Instagram or a TikTok, which it's really not that. YouTube is more of a search engine. This is actually the number two largest search engine in the world. So just with me saying that this is a search engine, then you, you already know that keywords have to be at the utmost importance. So if you're struggling to find helpful keywords and trying to figure out video ideas and titles, then I highly recommend you use either vidIQ or TubeBuddy. It's more of a personal preference, but for me, 
I do use vidIQ and on this very channel, I show you guys how to use vidIQ as well. So if you guys want to check that out, then I have a whole vidIQ playlist where I would gladly link that somewhere or you could just check out my videos or my playlist after this one. Now this leads us to our next step or our next factor, which is creating meaningful shorts. Unless you've been living under a rock lately, as of maybe two, three years ago, YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, they're all at a, I guess you can say a war when it comes to these short form content pieces. And short form content has definitely exploded growth on TikTok, Instagram, and also YouTube just in a little bit of time. So if you are not taking advantage of short form content, then you may just be severely hurting your chances of growth. YouTube Shorts is definitely one of the most explosive ways that you can start growing your channel today, but you have to make these pieces of content meaningful, which means you can't just do a trending dance and think that that's going to stay in the algorithm for a long period of time because next month that trend might just be over. So if you make content for shorts that has some really highly searched keywords in it, then that piece of content will stay in the algorithm for a much longer time and actually have the chance to grow your channel either revenue wise, subscriber wise, and maybe even watch time wise. So everyone watching this, please use YouTube Shorts strategically, okay? Use the YouTube Shorts to get placed in front of a new audience. Now this next one, I feel that tons of people sleep on it. I still do not know why people sleep on this because this can really grow your channel really, really quickly, especially when it comes to getting that watch time. And that is, of course, creating playlists for all of your different topics on your channel. Every topic in every video should have a home in a YouTube playlist. Playlists are super helpful just because now that one viewer has found one of your videos that they really seem to like, they can go in one place on your channel and see 10 other videos just like it. The power in this is just amazing. So not only is one viewer watching all 11 videos in that one playlist, but they're going to be more likely to subscribe after they watch every single one. So not only are you getting the watch time, but now you're also growing your account by getting that potential viewer to hopefully subscribe at the end. YouTube is a platform that of course, they're going to reward you the more you actually have people watching your videos. So their goal is to make a viewer stay on YouTube for as long as possible. And if you make binge-worthy content, and that's all that one space for a viewer to easily find, then your channel is going to get recommended, your channel is just going to just blow up, okay? So make sure to be creating these playlists. Now we have this next thing, which is super important. I had to leave the best one here, okay? Now this one is one that if you can master both of these, then you will be a very dangerous channel on YouTube. We are talking about mastering not only your titles, but also your thumbnails. As a viewer on YouTube, the first two things that you will ever notice about a video on the homepage or wherever you may be finding what videos you want to search or watch is either the title or you're going to notice the thumbnail. These two alone are crazy important because that is the first thing that a viewer actually has to see before they even make the, the attempt to watch your video. So it is very possible for you to have an amazing video, but have a bad thumbnail and a bad title, which will definitely hinder your chances of success with that video. Making clickable titles is something that you're just going to have to practice at, but there are a few powerful words that you could be using in your titles to help you get that curiosity going for your potential viewers. I feel that all successful YouTube titles have some type of curiosity being created in the viewer's mind, which makes the viewer want to click to find out exactly what you may be talking about 
in that title. So mastering both the thumbnail and also the title is super crucial to growing your subscribers and also getting more watch time for your channel. So hopefully you find this video of value and hopefully you didn't know all of these tips because we also have a part two coming soon. So uh, make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want even more YouTube growth tips, tricks, and maybe even some hacks for your growth and potential success on YouTube. If you're interested in learning more about the keyword research part of being a content creator and you want to learn how to use vidIQ, then I will be leaving a video on this end card screen for you to go and check out. In this video, I explain all the things that you can do and I actually show you how to navigate through vidIQ to help you guys grow your channel today. So make sure to stay for that. Click on the video right here and I will see you all in this next video.